Hello, hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm very happy you're here today. It's been a while since we've been together. I know, I apologize. Again, super duper busy with the, trying to set up our shop and get product put together so we have something to put in the shop and on and on, you know. I've had no zero zip, not a time to craft have completely lost my mojo for crafting because I'm so busy with the busy with the business side of our business. Does that make sense? <laughs> Say that fast three times. Anyway, I'm super happy you're here. Welcome everyone, a big welcome to our brand new subscribers, those of you who are following me for the first time or maybe just found me. And lots of hugs and kisses and love to all my girls. Hi guys and guys, girls and guys who are following me. I found out I do have some gentlemen. And I'm so happy you're all here. Um, so welcome. I love you all. So you mean so much to me. Anyway, I just want to say thanks. So here we go. Um, we're going to do a stack your stash today because I know you all love this. Hopefully you're not tired of it yet. For those of you who maybe aren't doing the stack your stash, remember these are all pieces that can just go into your journals. If you don't want to make a lot of them, just make one for the journal you're working on right now and use the genre that you're used to working with, right? So today we're going to make a side tuck pocket and a couple other things. Um, and I'm going to be using uh, digital papers, the music paper, some documents, fake documents, you know, that kind of thing. You can use scrapbook paper, you can use magazines, whatever you would like, okay? So we're gonna get to that in just a quick second. Let me make sure we are filming. I'm not having any technical difficulties here. No, that's always a good thing, right? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you never know, right? So anyway, um, I was talking about the shop a little and I know you're getting tired of it, but I promise we're coming down to it. We were all set to open up over on Shopify, but we found out that they're really more for helping a brick and mortar store, means like Ross, you know, Home Depot, those kind of stores, get online. Um, they really aren't set up for the crafty art world very well. They want to be desperately, they want to have a category for us and they do, but they just don't do what we need them to do. So uh, we are back to Etsy. We are um, opening it under a different shop name. Uh, we tried to open it under a jewel design, uh, but they we had to add a word, right, to make it not the same as the digital shop. We wanted a separate shop from the digital shop because these are physical things, right, and handmade things both. Uh, so we had to pick a new name. So we are Design Journal and Supply. That's designjournalandsupply.etsy.com, all one word, little cap, little letters, but this is what it would look like, you know, as the, the name. We're hoping to get it soft opening Friday and Saturday, meaning it'll be up and we won't maybe have said a lot, but there'll be a video announcing that it's open the following week. But uh, certainly you can go there anytime you see product in the shop and start shopping. Now, I don't want anyone to be discouraged or... Um, like disappointed because this is a shop that is for digital, I mean, not digital, excuse me, physical supplies to make digitals. Or, let me start again. Sorry. I am so tired, you guys. <laughs> it is a shop that is physical things to help you make your journal. So it's supplies, bags. Um, I, I, I'm like, I don't even know what to tell you. Um, Oh, file folders, uh, paper, documents. Like, okay, here's an example. I have all, these are copies of original vintage documents that I own, that I've purchased. And they date from like as far back as uh, 1846 or 1849, all the way to 190 something. There'll be a set of these documents already pre-printed, packaged for you. You can buy the pre-prints so you can start working with them right away. They're not a digital, they're not a digital, they're an actual physical. This is actually the kit. There'll be 15 to 20 pages and they are copies of, of originals. These are not digitals, they're just a copy of originals. So these are kind of thing you're gonna see from me in the shop. Uh, and we're gonna have things like these whale tails. These are embossed whale tails. You'll have sets of those. There will be sets of my beautiful little butterflies in there that I've made, right? Um, there will be, let me see if I have any so I could show you. I just am, oh, okay. Um, there will be some of these in there. Now I'm gonna be using these in projects, so I thought you might like to have them too, right? So like these pretty pearls and things like that. 
and there will be uh, charms, all that kind of stuff. So basically all of your little supplies, your bags, your baggies, your coin envelopes, your file folders, your, all the little things that I use to make my journals, you'll be able to now get in our shop little envelopes and specialty pieces you're going to be able to get in our shop so that's what's going to be in there now as time goes on i will be filling it with ephemera a custom handmade ephemera one of a kind pieces of ephemera i will have um kits i will have boxes of beautiful vintage things and um we're working on we had a huge uh three quarters of our Lace shipment came in. I'm waiting on the last box of the late shipment. So we're going to have laces, both vintage and regular. And we're going to have French laces and bridal laces. And so you'll be able to use like the laces I'm using in my project. So that will be in there. So that's what's the kind of things that are going to be in there. I don't have any journals going in there just as of yet. Maybe by the time this has its soft opening, I will have some pieces to show you that are going to be in there. If you wait two seconds, I'll go grab a few. Hold on. I'll be right back. I just got to run in the other room. Okay, I'm back. Woo, that was all the way across the house. <laughs> I sprinted, which I should not do. But... I want to show you the types of things that I will have in the shop. This is one of them. This is one of my beautiful sets full of, oh, sorry, beautiful pieces of ephemera. So I want you to see that's going to be one of the things that's going to be in there. Um, I have an envelope stack for you, gorgeous envelope stack. And this one is full of beautiful things too. And of course, um, these are going in there. Then I have a beautiful little um, shabby journal. And uh, I do have a small journal. Those come, the journals come with a letter for me. Uh, then I have this one, it's called So. And it's beautiful, I'm not gonna show you, but it's, it's a gorgeous one. This one's a little more shabby. Well, let's see, will I show you? Maybe I will show you a little. She hasn't been open a while, a long while. So she's a folio and she's full. I mean, she keeps going and she's got all kinds of goodies inside of her. So um, one of my folios. So if you like sewing or you like pink shabby, this is for you. I'm hoping to have that in there. So just give me a few minutes or a few a little time. I'm, I'm sure they'll be there. The big thing is I have to take the photos and do the write-up. And with everything else I've been doing, I haven't had any time to do that and make videos for you guys. It's just, I don't have enough health to do all that, right? So that's gonna be in there. Um, if you are someone who likes, uh, oh gosh, stuff everywhere. Like this one, the, I have, these are gonna be in there. So they're, they're folders full of ephemera that's botanical, beautiful botanical bits. This is a botanical kit. 512. That's the number on that one. But anyway, ephemera. Oh, they're called ephemera stationary sets. And this is botanicals for both of these. So they're going to be in there. So um, for me, that's what's going to be in there to start. As time goes on, my journals will go into there. Uh, uh, ephemera sets, bundles, all kinds of things. So just want to let you know, do a little commercial, but I also don't want you to be disappointed if you don't see a lot of handmade stuff to start off with, because this is really a supply store. But it's also a place for us to sell, each of us to sell our, our beautiful um, handmade goodies. So, oh, I got to catch my breath. Sorry, guys. Let me see where we at. Um, okay, we're not too bad. So, anyway, today we're doing a, 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 I guess you'd call it a side tuck pocket. And these are inspired by Shabby Dabby Doodah. And, um... What you do is super, super easy, and this is a great way to stack your stash. You get yourself any size paper you want. I am using my digital, you know, the digitals that I've printed. This one is um, a Shabby Debbie Doodah print. I wanted to make sure, I think this has a right side up and an upside down. That's, okay, so it goes that way. So the first thing you do is you have your piece of paper, okay, and you're going to fold it over. And I'm gonna say, depending upon the size of your papers, now I did not cut off the white part. So I would say, 
oh, this ruler drives me nuts. Um, I would say it's about two inches you fold it in. Then I folded it about two and a quarter. So just a little bit bigger than this one. You bring this one to meet this one and you leave a little bit of a gap. Now, if you, and uh, so I left these here because you're not going to see them, right? You're not going to see them. So then you want to get rid of your creases. And because we're going to do this in a stack your stash, we're just going to go that far to start with. So th this next one, I got another piece of paper. And I'm going to go in about two inches. And I'm kind of, oh gosh, hold on a minute, guys. My my vision just went funny. Okay, that was strange. It went really blurry. I couldn't see anything. Um, so I want to make it nice and neat on the end. I'm gonna fold that over like that, roughly. It doesn't. It could be any size you want, right? And then you want to make this one always a bit bigger than the other. So if you want to, if you're a measurer, about two and a half. Two and a quarter, two and a quarter, two and a half. It depends on how wide you want this to be here. Now, you know that we are working in some smaller journals too. So this is at three and a, a little over three and a quarter to three and a half. So that would fit in any of my journals, whether I'm doing a tall skinny. Let's see, would it fit in a tall skinny? Do I have a tall skinny anywhere? I don't know. Do I have a tall skinny? Guys, do you remember? I don't remember. Um, okay, so I've got this one. This is, let me see. Yeah, see, that would fit in there really nicely. That's one of my um, flip-flops. That's the Reantoinette flip-flop journal. Um, so it'll fit that. And then you can make them wider. You can make this as deep or as skinny as you want. I'm gonna make it right about there, right? And then I'm gonna, I am gonna pull out my little cutter because I left the white on there, so I am going to cut that off. I don't want that. I know these are eight and a half, so, you know, tall, because I'm using standard paper. If you're in the UK or somewhere else and you have a different with paper, of course, cut it down to fit your journals. This one had a lot of white on it, so I was able to cut off more. You can make them as tall or as short as you want, depending upon your, your paper and what you're going to put in them. Now, this was a shabby dabby doodah. This, I believe, is Raindrop Lila. And I don't know, top or bottom on this one. I guess it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to fold it up a bit. I'm, I could make it a bit wider by making this shorter. So let's see, what did I do here? Um, I'm at one and three quarters on this one instead of two. But I can always make this one deeper if I want. And you can open it, you can push it this way if you want to go this way. If you want some that'll load from that side. So maybe we'll make this one load from that side. So get out your papers. Do this with me. You will have to cut them down if you're using scrapbook paper to maybe six inches high or eight inches. No, you don't want eight, six or seven inches high with it. Now this one doesn't have much on it. So as far as a little white. So I took a little of the green off just to cut it down a bit because I think this ends up being, what do we end up here? Eight inches on that one. So I wouldn't want it any taller for a regular journal. My journals are about eight and a half to nine. So yeah, that's pretty consistent, I think, there. So we'll do a couple more and then we'll we'll do the, um, let me see if I can figure out top from bottom on this. Well, it looks like this is the, so again, I'm just gonna fold it up a little bit. It's like a quarter of the way and then a little over the quarter on this one. I hate to lose the edges because that's where all the roses are on this one, but you know, you can make this as wide as you want. I wanted this one a little bit wider. Does this one go wider than three or am I pretty consistent? Yeah, this one's three and a half. So you can make them all different sizes, whatever you want to do. That's the cool part about this. Let's do uh, music paper. Let me see. This is a digital, music paper digital. So I'm just going to go like that. And I'm gonna go like that. And, oh, I'm not gonna see my, shoot. All my pretty um, treble clefts are gonna be hidden. 
Darn it. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, it is what it is, right? Oh, there's one. I saw one. All right. I am going to cut this down. It's a little wide. And let me cut it over here. And there. This one I didn't do. It's because this has such a, the white, you know, it, it just depends on how the digital designer tells it to create or whether it's JPEG or PDF. You get different widths, so that's fine. I'm okay with that. Oh, I love this. This is, again, Shabby Dabby. These roses are all Shabby Dabby Doodah, and it's her rose collection, it's called. This one I'm not going to go as far. I'm going to make this one a little bit fatter. Some of these can stand alone. They don't have to go in a journal. You know, you can use them for other things. I'm trying to decide. Ooh, I like that one. So I'm going to fold it over this way. I'm going to have it open on this side. You could pop a little, a uh, little goodie in there if you want a thumb notch if you really want. Okay, and you should be able to make in just a few minutes. You could probably make twenty or thirty of these. I was thinking these would go great in my journals, and that's why I'm doing them because I know that I will use them in my journals. Boy, I did a bad job of printing that one. Yikes, it's crooked and everything. Well, alrighty, it's okay. I don't see any treble clips on this puppy. Did you always want the second one to go in just a bit more than the first and then create your, your pocket? I think I got that crooked all over the place. <laughs> all right, well, we're just gonna cut that off anyway. I'm actually gonna cut this one down a little bit since I don't didn't like that side. This one makes a much smaller one, okay? Um, I'll just throw that away, I guess, and we'll keep it. This one here is from, this paper is from Uniquely Ella. Oh man, I'm gonna lose that pretty little bit. Oh well, it is what it is, right? Because we're gonna glue that down in a minute, you're not gonna see these sides, so it doesn't matter. And you can, this is great for your single-sided digital papers and your single-sided scrapbook papers, right? So this one I won't be cutting down, I've already pre-cut these. They're from, they were going in a journal, and um, so I had them cut ready to go. But of course now I've stolen them out of there, so. Make that a little bit more. Yeah, you don't see much of the pretty print. It's all folded inside. Oh, Darn it, I really like that. See, that's what I like on the edges, and then you do it, and it's like, well, that's not as pretty. But what are you going to do, right? That does not look very straight. It isn't straight on that end, that's for sure. I don't know what I did when I cut that piece of paper. Must have did it with my eyes closed. Okay, so here's a bunch. All right, now. Oh, the um, the whale tails are gonna be in a bunch of colors too, it's, and prints. It's not just gonna be one color. Those were the uh, embossed ones. Those take a long time to do, and they're always a little bit more because of the embossing on them. But. All right, so I have a couple of these from Uniquely Ella. I have some of the music paper. I have the Shabby Debbie. So in this one I made wider. This one can be a standalone, absolutely could be a standalone piece. This one's three and three quarters, so it's wider. And then these are the smaller ones that can go in any size journal. The smaller ones will fit into all of my journals, whereas this one would only fit into a bigger journal or as a standalone cover it in goodies, right? So that's one of those, right? So I thought I'd show you that. Okay, um, so in just a couple of minutes, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So in just a few minutes' time, we had ten of these ready to go. Like, we, it was like, let me see how many minutes it was. Ten minutes. 
in 10 minutes, I had 10 pieces. You can do about one a minute if you're really moving fast. You could get like 100 of these made if you wanted to in just a couple hours. So there we go. So now the point of this is, we're now we're gonna do, so you have to decide, do you wanna do glue or do you wanna do a glue stick? I will probably just use my, um, uh, art glitter glue. It is my favorite glue. It can be pricey, so you have to decide, you know. Then you take this little short edge, right? This edge up here, not, not this one, longer one, but this shorter edge, and you're just gonna go like this. Right along the edge, if you can. Uh, I think I'll put a, hold on a minute, I'm gonna put a mat down. Now this would be a lot of fun to do with your big, um, your bigger papers. You can make them super tall. You can make them short. You can make them half. You know, I don't know if I have one that's like at half that maybe I could just show you. Well, that one's cut down quite a bit. See, a scrapbooking paper would be just the same. It wouldn't change anything. It would just be the same way. Okay, so. This is a scrapbook pad. This is a scrap. So you can take all of your scraps that are good size scraps and you can definitely do this, right? So this will be a bigger one, obviously. Um, this would be one of those standalones, I think, that I would, you know, decorate the heck out of and... There you go. I mean, just in a quick second, this is a piece of scrapbook paper. So you can see we have all different kinds of paper now, right? So now this one is a pocket. Look, we've, we've, st now if you would like, you can do your little thumb print there. But I don't think I'm gonna. I may. I'll, we'll see once I got. So, so now our next step is once you've done all your folding and cutting, now you're doing your gluing. Because this is how you mouse make something, right? And this, in our cases, this is how we stack our stash. Then you just put them in a box. You don't have to decorate them right away. You can if you want. Now, if you want to close this, is a good time to do it since you've already got your glue out right here. Why not, right? Fold it over. I am folding it down. It does help your glue when you do that. Makes it get into your fabric. I mean, your fabric. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of fabric stuff and lace lately. Whew. Not used to that. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna want this to go that way. All right. You could cut this shorter if you would like. Use a shorter piece of paper, not have all this turn back, save. So you scraps to shave your pretty prints. I definitely could have cut this all off and just made little tiny ones, but this gives you some, the reason I don't, is it gives you, if you're just using, you know, some kind of, you're not using a card stock, what it gives you is it gives you some heft. It, it makes your pocket have some body so it's not so wimpy. So, sounds like someone's trying to get a hold of me. I thought I shut off my phone, but I think my iPad's in here with me, which means for some reason that didn't close. Why did that not close? Okay, check your ends to make sure. I was being a little, little stingy with the glue. <laughs> Wasn't using all my glue, so it didn't close the end. Oh boy, what did I just, like, did I close my eyes when I was doing this? What is wrong with me? I'm not used to making a video, guys. I'm sorry. I wasn't going to, I really didn't have time this week, but I also wanted to say hi to you guys. I miss you. I miss making my videos. So I thought I would get over here and have a little fun with the stack your stash. And see what we could do. I did post our last project, the well, last Wednesday on my Instagram. I did finally finish one of those wraparound page things that we did. Um, I finally finished one, that's all I could get done. I would sit down and do it and I just was so flat. I couldn't come up with anything. I mean, I just, nothing, I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, it might be our, yeah, it's our, uh, our, uh, 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 okay. 
it was our supplier, our lace supplier. She's checking to see if our order came in and we are we were supposed to get everything in yesterday. We're missing a box and it was a big shipment. So we're like, where's our box? Well, it's coming US mail, so you know, you know how that is. Yeah, well, even Amazon's been falling down on the job lately. Um, I ordered some paper that I needed to print uh, my business cards on. And I was out waiting, waiting. And they said, oh, it'll be in one day. It's been five days since I got it. And today they handed it off to a different carrier from Amazon. Now, I live in a town where we have a brand new Amazon hub distribution center. And... I don't understand. It's a mile or two down the road from my house. Why would they hand it off to another carrier? <laughs> I don't understand. So they either gave it to the mail. Hopefully they didn't give it to UPS because UPS is in another town, which means it goes backwards. It's been crazy. I had something sent from back east. It went from Connecticut to Sacramento to West Sacramento to Tracy to Salinas and up to us. So it went kind of like this. I was like, what the heck? I don't get it. Why are my packages taking a trip around the world before they come here? I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. Oh. Gosh, I tell you. Sometimes I don't understand. Really, I don't. I don't understand why why things... They, they need a better... Um, they need a logistics person who knows where... Actually, where things are, where the, where the cities are placed. Because they're... They go right past us to another city below us by an hour and a half. And instead of coming directly to us, we have a hub here. I don't get it. Why our warehouse doesn't get the stuff and they have to wait. It just makes no sense to me. And then they hand it off to somebody else that's another city away that isn't even close. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. So the stuff that's supposed to take one day or even two is taking five. And a lot of times I am waiting for something and I chose Amazon because they're close. I could have gone over to the store in another town and gotten it quicker. Which is the reason I was always hesitant to use Amazon because I said, no, you have to wait. I'm just better off going to the store. People say, oh no, you can get it in a day if you have Prime. I have Prime and I get in it in no day. I finally had to tell my little mail guy, the guy that delivers my mail, that, hey, I'm a business and I print, I need my ink and I need my packages. I please, please make sure I get them. And he always does. He's fabulous. But I told him on the days he's not working that whoever takes over doesn't bother to deliver the mail at all. We get no bills. We get nothing. Screwing up everything. So he's like, oh, we can't have that. I said, well, yeah, I know you have, you have to have a day off though. I, I really, I want you to know I love your service. You're a fabulous guy. You deliver to us every time. And I go and nothing ever comes to me damaged. You, you're great. I go, but when you're not working, oh my goodness. He did not like that. I guess he prides himself on his, you know, delivery and the condition of his packages and making sure he puts them on the porch. He doesn't shove them, fold them in half and shove them. Oh, you guys, I had brand new, beautiful Stamperia and Blue Fern uh, scrapbooking pads folded in my mailbox. Oh my gosh, I just about die. It says, do not fold, do not bend. He was, my guy, my guy wasn't working that day. I told him about it. He's like, oh, that should never happen. He goes, so do they put do not bend? I go, yeah, but it's like, they don't even bother to read it. He goes, oh no, some of them think it's a challenge. I'm like, what? What do you mean they think it's a challenge? Oh my goodness. A challenge for what? To see if you can shove things in the mailbox that aren't supposed to be there? What? I don't understand. <laughs> Uh, sorry, guys, I had to vent. That's a problem. You're dealing with someone who's in, like, crisis mode, trying to get this business up and running, and Jolene is busting her butt. You know, she's doing a lot of the photographs and the, the physical lifting. I've been making kits, sitting and, you know, putting things in bags and counting them out and separating them. And, you know, I do the inventory as it comes in, and then I um, count it, and then I count out things to make bundles and kits, and then I bag it and tag it and... Do another inventory, one that goes to her, one that goes to me. Oh my gosh, it's a lot. <laughs> then it gets over to her and then she photographs, writes it up, and then she has to enter it. <laughs> so we're talking, you know, and, and I think we have over 60 items in there now, 60 something. I don't know. I've lost track. 60 listings, whatever you want to call it. <sighs> 
that's more than you wanted to know, right? Sorry. But that's what you're getting with someone who's, this is her whole life right now. Now that will settle down, I promise, and you won't have to hear any more about it. I promise. It's only temporary, which is why I haven't done a lot of videos, because I know you guys don't want to hear about this. Sorry, I had to clean the head on this thing. It was so gunky. So you should be gluing and sealing with me at this point. I just folded that where there wasn't one. I made a crease. Uh, so. Okay, done whining. Pity party over. <sighs> try to be, I try to be good about it. But where we live, we live in a little rural town. We don't have any stores or shops. Everything is at least 30 or more minutes away. The closest little town to us is a good, whew, 40, 50 miles away, so it's not close. Well, that's a bigger town, 50-something miles away. But because of the amount of people that have moved here, the traffic has made it hours away instead of just 35 minutes. It used to take me 35 minutes to get to the big city. Now it takes hours to get there because there's so many people have moved down here. We're a bedroom community, so we don't have stuff here. We don't have any shops. We got nothing. I mean, we have Target. Hmm, that's our big store. We used to have Kmart, but it closed. Um, we have, what else do we have? We just got a Ross and a TJ Maxx a year ago. But a lot of times that store sits empty because it gets bought out all the time. Um, I think we have a boot barn and a, um, some shoe store, high-end shoe store. But that's it. That's what we have here. Oh, and a grocery stores and a couple of, uh, pharmacies. That's what we have. We have thrift store and antiques. We have a couple antique and thrift stores. And uh, I think we have a um, Salvation Army or something like that. One of those. And that's it. We don't have like big stores here. I don't, someone said, oh, Joanne's carry stuff. Well, yeah, that's nice. It's 45 to an hour. You know, if there's no traffic, it's 45 minutes to an hour away at the closest. There's two of them, one on each end of us, two different cities on each end. We're like here and one's here and one's here. But the same amount of time to both. So, well, one's a little closer, but you have to go mountain road, kind of scary, like windy roads that have a lot of accidents. And um, it, uh, so there's that one. It's a little bit closer, but the road is not great. The one that has a straight shot is close to an hour away, so or more. If there's an accident or it's even close to any kind of commute time, forget it. If it's on a Friday, forget it. You're looking at hours just to get one way. So yeah, I do a lot of ordering on everything I buy. I buy online. I have to. I don't have an option. And it's why I use Etsy so much too, because it's just as quick for me. It's actually faster for me to get an Etsy order from all you fabulous Etsy stores than it is for me to get them from even Amazon lately. I've gotten stuff from from Washington and Oregon from my buddy up in uh, my buddy Emily. Claire up in Oregon, Salem, Oregon. She gets it to me quicker. Hi, Emily. My buddy. Um, she gets it to me faster than Amazon. So it's like, oh my goodness. She's so impressive. That girl, is, this is a real business to her. And she works hard at it. I'm very impressed with her. She's vintage polka dot shop. I bought all of my vintage stuff from her. And all of my uh, coffee dyed. I do buy a little bit from uh, Triple V Vintage when she has it. Specialty stuff like that. With the basic coffee dyed envelopes. All kinds of little things uh, come from Emily. And then a lot of my vintage fabrics and just books and all kinds of fun stuff comes from Emily. Sorry, I needed water. I'm chatting my brains off here. All right, we should decorate at least one. So let's see. I want to do maybe one of these. These are beautiful too. Let's see, you're going that way. I have to decide which way these are going. You're going that way, you're going that way, you're going that way. Which way are you going? Are you going this way? Yeah, you two are going that way and then the rest of these are going to the right and one's going to the left and this one's going to the right, okay. This one, oh, I didn't glue that. I missed one, how'd that happen? Oh my goodness, can't have that. All right, so how are you guys, are you well? Everybody good? I Oh, guys, I need a prayer for my sister Antoinette. You know who she is, right? Those of you who have been following me a long time know my sister Antoinette has a wonderful crochet 
uh, embroidery shop and she makes these for us. You, many of you are dealing with her. Um, she makes these gorgeous butterflies and hearts for us. Plus a bunch of other stuff. I mean, all kinds of stuff. I've used a lot of her work in my work and she has gotten very, very ill and uh, dangerously ill. She has had all of her COVID shots and boosters because she has a lung issue. She's gotten COVID and she got it bad and she's having trouble breathing. So please, please, please pray for her. But, and all the good thoughts you can have out there in the universe, every good thing you can think for her and all the prayers you can get for her and her husband. Her husband got sick as well. He has a rare lung disease, different diseases, but um, his is environmentally caused by a job he had. And he has a difficulty. He doesn't have full oxygen on a normal day. But her, she has severe asthma and COPD. And it's gotten worse and worse as the years have gone over. And then she's tried everything not to get COVID. And somehow they got it. And they got the worst one you can get. The worst strain. It's not the new variant. It's one of the old variants. One of the, the original. And she can barely breathe, you guys. I am scared for her every minute of every day. I'm in prayer constantly. Sending her as many good vibes and as I can, but because you guys know of her and know her, many of you have dealt with her, have had conversations with her, you know, please, please say good thoughts for her. Send her everything you got. So she needs to get well. I cannot lose my sister. I just lost my son-in-law and my dad and my mother-in-law and my three of my cousins and two of my best friends. And so I just can't, I can't lose anyone else, especially not my little sister who is about 14 months younger than I am. We were raised as twins. So I can't lose her. I just can't, you guys. I do. I don't know if you'll see me again. So please. She's having such a hard time. We're scared to death that they put her on a ventilator. She won't come off. So I just, I'm praying every minute of every day that that does not happen. Okay. So on a good note, we're going to go on and do this. I'm not going to think about it anymore. I'm going to take some time off because my brain is tired. I'm tired from not sleeping. I'm worried about her all the time. I want to put one of these cards on there or pictures or something. Aren't they pretty? Aren't these ladies pretty? Oh, I do have a littler one. Maybe I could put one of those on there. I thought I cut one out. Let me see if I have one cut out. I did do a oh, Super Bowl Sunday. I was a fussy, fussy cut and fool. I cut and cut and cut while I was watching the, you know, as things would get worse, I'd cut faster. I was like, ah, no, no, no. You know, <laughs> so I was watching with my husband. So I was just like nutso there. Um, so I was fussy cutting all kinds of, I mean, all kinds of stuff. So I'd kind of like to use that on there. Oh, that's the same picture twice. Well, I really like that picture apparently. Um, so I guess we'll use that one. I don't need to cut that out because I already have some cut. I thought, I, oh yeah, I hadn't cut the bigger card, which would be pretty inside. Um, but I haven't cut that out. These are shabby dabby doodah as well. So this is one of her kits. I don't know what this one's called. Capture the moment. I think it's called. Um, so, sh oh, it's Shabby Debbie Duda. Oh, Pink Pavilion Vintage Ladies is what that one's called. So, that's what those are called. And I think I would like to decorate that. So, let me get a little... Uh, I mean, I cut a ton of stuff, so so much that my poor back cramped up, and I was like, oh, I got to go get a hot wrap on my back and take some medicine. <laughs> it was quite painful. I had my head down, you know, up and down watching the game and then cheering and all that, so I, I couldn't do some of this really tiny detail cutting because I didn't want to keep my head down that long, you know, I was trying to watch the game, so I was like doing a lot of the, um, oh, cutting journal cards and, you know, pictures and um, cabinet cards, you know, that I had, had copies of. So I was doing a lot of that kind of fussy cutting. I didn't do a lot of detailed fussy cutting, just as, like I said, I, I had my head up and down so much that I, I didn't want to miss a lot of the game, but I wanted to get something done because, you know, you're sitting three to four, and it went into overtime. So I was sitting there a good three plus hours. So I had to keep getting up and down though, because like my rear end kept going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Um, so let me see if I have, oh, of course, the piece of papers, the pieces of paper I want are not here. So let me see if I have any, anything I want to use in here. <laughs> I have French book page. It's really dark. I want a darker color for sure because I want to break up that, well, 
Okay, here's some music paper. I don't think I want Rock of the Ages though, right? Oh, let's see. This is that really old powdery book page that's falling apart. Um, gosh, it's really falling apart. It's got some cool writing on it, but I need to... I mean, I just touch this and it just disintegrates. It's scary. What are you guys up to? Anything exciting? We know what I'm doing. What are you guys doing? What have you been doing while I've been away? Hmm, hmm, hmm. What's been happening? Miss Betty, how are you? How are you and your hubby? I hope you're doing well. I know he is very ill. You're hubby, but he's in my prayers, as are you. That prayer line's really busy. I just want to do something like that, maybe with a little bit of... Um, shoot, I like this word on here, but I really don't want it that tall. I want to get it up under that rose. There we go. It's this kind of um, like decorating stuff that's been a problem for me. I just, I, I, I'm just having a real tough time right now with doing creative things. It's just not coming to me like it usually does. It's not coming easy right now. You know, and usually I don't have any trouble. You know, I just sit down and craft. But all of a sudden, I think because I have so much going on in my head between my sister and the shop uh, that I... Um, and my brother-in-law is about to go in for open heart surgery. <sighs> Shoot. They were hoping not to do open heart on him. He's in his 70s, but he needs a heart replacement. So I'm not sure if he's doing open heart or if he's doing um, something else. Uh, vascular, what do you call it? Oh, I can't think of it. Angioplasty. I'm not sure what, what they're doing. I've got to ask my sister what kind of surgery he's going to have. I know it's on the valve. He's got a valve that's failing. This is my big sister and her husband have their issues. So my family's in crisis right now, God. Guys, so. See, I'm thinking about the big Lord there, the big guy. So I believe, I'm a believer. So I, uh, that's a lot on my mind right now. Okay, let's get this. I don't bombard you guys with it, but it's there. So. I have a ton on my mind, which makes it really hard to be creative. Honestly, it does. It makes it real tough. But, you know, it doesn't take a lot to uh, decorate. You just get a couple pieces. and um, Now, Tina has a bunch of... A bunch. Let me find them. Next to me here, I have... Oh, boy. I'm afraid I'm, I've got a pile and I don't want the pile to hit the floor so and I got a pile behind me <sighs> I had all these piles cleaned up it doesn't take long does it guys Tina had a bunch of labels and I'm looking for her labels I bought all of her labels oh here they are I hope this is Tina yes 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 I haven't got them cut out though so See if we can find one. I just want to put a label up here. Um, let me see. I like this pretty pink label would be good there. Let's see what else we have. Hmm. I've got even bigger than that. I don't know. That might be too big. Let's see. Let's get a couple cut. Um, let me see what we got here. We did do a garage sale with my daughter because she's need to make room in the garage, right? So we didn't sell the garage. We still tried to sell the stuff in the garage <laughs> because that is where all of our inventory is going and our shipping, our main shipping. I have a shipping hub here too. I've been working on uh, getting that together. Uh, I think mine's all good to go, uh, but we've been trying to make more room for her. And so we took stuff over from our place and her place and had a little garage sale on last Saturday. So that was fun. Um, People did show up. It was freezing. She's like, oh, people come really early. We got to go outside really early. And I'm like, are you sure? And she's like, oh, yeah, really early. I'm like, okay. So we were there at 7 o'clock in the morning. No one showed up till about mm, 8, 8.30. But that was okay. It gave us a chance to get going. There was a few early birds, and they came in and bought the best of the stuff. You know how that goes. So 
those people know, you know, you got to get your yourself out there. And um, so we both sold some stuff. We were both really happy. I had a, a doll bed, you know, my granddaughters used to play with and um, that sold in an ottoman. And I don't remember what else. We sold a few things. So we were really happy with that. Those seem too much to like. What do we think? That's a really big one. I like the littler ones. But I would want one that's like another one that's not exactly like. I think we have a little problem here. What do you think? Yep. I think there's a problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd want like one of these brighter ones maybe here. I think we've got another one here with a problem. So let's cut that. Okay. All right, let's see. Is there anything else that I like better? I'm just looking before I... What do we have on this side? Just this other colors, or what have we got? Same thing. Oh, yeah, these are the browns. Oh, there's some bigger bigger labels. I don't need quite that big. I don't know if you guys can see some of them. These are all darker ones, but these are all Shabby Dabby Duda. She has a full set of everything there. Oh, and then she has these lovely strips, too, so... Yeah, this is all good. I want to put that back in there before it falls out. Let me see if this is what I want with it. To kind of pull in like the red and the uh, green and the pink. You know, the darker colors. Okay. That's good. I'll have to find a little, I gotta get one of my little uh, plastic envelopes to put those in so I don't lose those. What I think I wanna do with this one is I think I'm gonna cut the ends so it's not so flat. Let me ink that. Now these are stickers so they should just stick right on. But if I get too close to the uh, We're trying to get a hold of the snow for you guys. So if we can get a hold of that, we'll, we'll be selling that as well. Some of the fiber stuff. Yeah, okay. Let me get this one down first. As I said, this is a, hello, come on now, let go. There we are, there we are. Wait, no, I wanna go this way. Ah. I thought I inked it, but maybe I didn't. Or when I pulled it off, I inked the paper that was behind it, but not the edges. <laughs> Okie dokie, we can't have that. Okay, so we have that, and then make sure this is inked. I think it is, so let's get that off there. I might have to add glue to this one because it's going to be on, on this. Okay, I like that. I feel like it needs something else. How about a bow? I don't know if we want a pink bow or we want a cream bow. Mm -hmm. And where do we want the bow? I like the pink. I haven't done pink in a while. It's kind of nice to kind of get back into my pinks a little bit. Okay, I like that. I like that. I think that works. Can we do that? Yes, I think we can do that. I think I'll do just a tint of, dirty it up, just a hint, not not real bad. Let's get our Fabri-Tac. See what time it is when I'm done here. See if I have time to do anything else or if we're done for the day. I do have another project we can do if we want. I'm only going to decorate the one. I'm not going to go more than that today. Um, sorry, I'm looking for my pearls. Uh -oh. Let me check my time, guys. Okay. We're getting there. Oh, who stole my pokey tool? I've been using it non-stop. It should be right on the top, unless I put it with my project I was doing. There we go. There's one. Okay, let me put 
I'm gonna pull here. Come on, you. We've been watching a show called For All Mankind. Oh my gosh, it's interesting, but oh boy. You know, you always think, oh, they'll be fine. You know, they don't kill, kill off the heroines. Oh, yes, they do. In this show, every anybody and everybody can die. So when you think someone's safe, they're not. <laughs> so it's been kind of hard to watch, you know, especially when you're used to things being the good guy always wins. Well, not necessarily. I want a, something on the bottom here. That's too wide. Looking for something pink and small. And I know I have them, but I don't know where I put them. Give me a sec. Well, what have I done with all my pink laces? I haven't used them in so long. Oh, here's one. So this makes a great pocket that you can just glue on or you can um, pin it onto a journal page. I'll show you in just a minute. Down or up. Sometimes I like it up. No, I think I'll go down. Let's see. Let's go that way. Oh. Oh, I don't need that right now. Um, scissors. Where are my scissors? There we go. So I think I've told you everything I needed to say. I don't know if I'll have any more videos until the shop announcement video will probably be my next one next week. If I can, I will get another one up this week. I'm just not sure right now if I'm going to have time to do any more videos. Oh gosh. Uh, I just, I don't know at this point if that's going to happen or not. So I apologize. I am just, there's only one of me and I'm pretty, I'm stretched really, really thin right now. So, uh, and I don't want to jeopardize my health. So I've been taking it, you know, the way I should trying to sleep at night and you know, all that good stuff. But, um, so I don't know if I'll be back. I apologize. I haven't quit on you guys. I swear I am still here. I haven't left you. I will return to our normally scheduled time and I will be working on my pro various projects that I need to do. So, um, you know, I will be back for sure. I hope you haven't all left me. I guess I'll know when I see this video. <laughs> if nobody sees it, then you all left me. <laughs> <sighs> you said you wouldn't, so I trust you didn't. Forgot about me, huh? Hopefully YouTube didn't forget about me because I haven't been making any videos. So it's not just you guys I have to worry about. Actually, I got to get this channel monetized so I can keep, you know, making videos for you guys. <sighs> it's just a little more complicated than I thought. And the criteria is kind of weird. And I don't know. I, I, I get, like, overwhelmed when I see stuff like that, you know. I, I'm like, I don't know if I could do that. So, uh, let's get some pearls on there. And then we're done. Get her done. These pearls are super sticky, but I think I'll add just a bit of glue up here. They usually don't come off, so I have not ever had them come off, but I, and I've got stuff that I made, you know, five years ago with them, and they're doing fine. But there is a first time for everything, so anyway, I haven't forgot you guys. I love you all so much. I think about you often, wondering what you guys are up to, and... Keep saying, honey, I got to do a video, got to do a video. But another day goes by and, and the clock is run out. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they think I left them. I didn't, I swear. I told you I wouldn't. I haven't. I'll let you know if I'm quitting. I'll just flat tell you. There'll be a big old announcement. There'll be a big old video. Unless, of course, something happens to me, then I can't do that. Then, you know, that's something different. But I'll let you know if I'm going to leave for good. 
And that hasn't happened yet, so. All right, isn't that pretty? I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. So, that's Lorette style. As you know, I'm over the top, as someone said today on Instagram. I said, wow, that's a bit over the top. Well, no, that's my style, guys. Everybody has their own style. My style is over the top. That's me. Eight. <laughs> so, anyway, this is how it would go in a journal. So, it could go on the page like that. It can be glued on. Or you can take a little paper clip and you can clip it onto the side if you want. And you could do it that way, you know. So, it could go on either side of the page. And that's how you'd use it. So, And if you glue it on the page, if it's glued down, um, then you could decide, well, I think I would put it on this side to make it easy to get in and out here. But you could decide to just glue it on three, or you could decide to glue it all the way down there and then get something in there and something in there. So you could do it that way, right? So, all right, you guys, that's it today. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. And I will see you all very soon. I watch for, I do have a happy mail to share with you from Marlene at Uniquely Ella. I do have that to share. It is a stunning package, so I really want to show you. But there you have this. These are our um, pockets. And there's the one that's all decorated. So I appreciate you all coming and watching. I love you all. I will see you all very soon. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.